just i'm sorry uh, good afternoon yeah good afternoon girls good afternoon girls today uh, we are welcome. going to continue with the polytrichum sporophyte structure okay so yesterday we have done with the polytrichum uh, morphology that is external morphology and we have also done with the polytrichum internal structure of rhizome and all those things okay so now today so let us have the recap and then we'll go with the uh, sporophyte structure okay so so one second yeah okay i'll start sharing my screen okay now girls okay madam please yes sir right i hope you can see the slides here yes madam yes right so we have started with yesterday the type study which is called as polytrichum uh, so it was belonging to the class bryopsida and uh, the genus what we talked about the polytrichum it is considered as the commonly we are calling this polytrichum as the moss plant and it is also be considered as the miniature plant of the bryophyte that means the plant body appears uh, to be like a small plant uh, having the stem like structure root like structure and the leaf like structures okay so when we talk about uh, the habitat so it was found to be growing in the cool and the shady places the bryophyte character and i also discussed about the general morphology the morphology of the plant so the plant was divided into two main regions which is called as the rhizome and the upper right uh, leafy shoot like structure so the rhizome is considered to be uh, as uh, uh, as this stem like structure which is underground it is buried under the soil it is a colorless and it consists of the rhizoids which helps in fixing the plant and also for the absorption so in the study of the upright uh, leafy shoot which is going to consist of the central so it consists of the central main axis which is an erect structure okay from the rhizome the erect and uh, it is standing straight above the ground surface we Madam, call it as the central main axis so on the central Madam, main axis we have spiral arrangement of leaf like mm -hmm. structures what we can call them as the phylloids or we can also call them as the lamellae also Madam, so we talked about the leaves so the leaves yeah. are going to consist of the broad bases and uh, the upper portion of the leaf is uh, green in color so uh, we have studied this yesterday this is the upper portion of the lamellae which is green in structure and this is the swati mute this ko loud ya swati Ma, please Party mute yourself. Mute. Okay, make the wall class ke jain ka manje panna ma. Sir, good morning, sir. Good morning, mute. Under mute lo unda ni. Class starta in the ramanje panna varsa group lo bethe ni. Okay, sir. 
काय गज स्वाति म्यूट म्यूट क्लास राइट मैडम प्लीज कंटिन्यू राइट सर ओके सो यू कैन सी हियर दिस इज़ इज़ लीफ व्हिच गोइंग टू हैव द ब्रॉड बेस स्ट्रक्चर एंड दिस इज अपर लमेला रीजन विच इज ग्रीन इन कलर शोइंग द और परफॉर्मिंग द फोटोसिंथेसिस फॉर प्रिपरेशन ऑफ द फूड मेटीरियल and in the center it is going to consist of the central limb like structure so internal structure we discussed yesterday so this is the anatomy of the polytrichum leaf or the uh, leaf like structure what we called as the phylloid having the epidermal region just above this epidermal region you can see the presence of this sclerenchymatous tissue which helps in mechanical support to the leaf and uh, above this you can see the development of the filaments which are line one above the other the cells these are all the parenchymatous cells which are linear in structure arranged in the uh, filamentous mode and going to consist of the chloroplast for preparation of the food material so this is the tiers of the uh, leaf like structure of the polytrichum so and i also discussed about the Tears transfer section of the rhizome also. So we have mentioned that this rhizome is going to consist of the outermost layer, which is called as the epidermal region, and uh, below the epidermal region, this is all the parenchymatous tissue, or which is called as the cortex region. So it is divided into three regions: outer epidermis, middle cortex, and you can see the presence of. So we'll go down here. and the central part which is parenchymatous and uh, going to consist of the uh, medulla uh, and the central medulla outer epidermis the between cortical region and the central medulla region okay so here the epidermal region where is uh, mainly helpful for producing uh, that is giving the protection the cortex region which is going to store the food material and the medulla is divided into central zone and the peripheral zone and in the cortex we have shown i have told you that these are the conducting strands which are showing the presence of thick walled hypodermal cells and uh, this is considered to be on uh, the central region here what we talked about the medulla this medulla is divided into central region and the peripheral zone which is called as the hydrome and the leptome performing the process of conduction there it's not exactly the conducting tissue but it will store the help in uh, conducting the water and the food material so when i talk about the reproduction so the reproduction is going to carried out vegetatively by the presence of protonema and the fragmentation so manam sexual reproduction when we talk about polytrichum plant is considered to be as a dioecious plant that is male plant is different from the female plant the male plant at the time of reproduction develops the anthereal head at the apical region of this upright leafy shoot and this uh, anthereal head going to be consists of a spirally arranged cells uh, which are called as uh, perigonial leaves which is very very important and uh, this perigonial leaves are going to surrounding the central anthereal the club shaped anthereal structures alternating with the sterile leaves which are called as a paraphyses so that is the structure of the anthredia and it is going to consist of a small stalk also which is uh, present attached to this apical region so when we talk about the anthredia the anthredia these are the club shaped structures we discussed yesterday uh, this anthredia going to surrounded by a single layer of jacket layer and the central uh, androzoid mother cells which are going to divide and produce the anthrozoids that is a male reproductive which are biflagellated male gametes when we talk about the female plant female plant is differentiated by the presence or the formation of this archegonial head just like the male plant even female plant will develop the uh, archegonial head at the time of maturity now this archegonial head is also similar to that of anthereal head 
comprising of the spirally arranged cells uh, sorry spirally arranged leaves uh, which are called as the perichaetal leaves whereas in anthridial head we call them as the perigonial leaves whereas in the zarchigonial head it is called as the perichaetal leaves now these perichaetal leaves they are going to surround give protecting protection to the archegonia which are lying in the center of this archegonial head now here in this archegonial head we cannot see the presence of any paraphyses only the archegonia which are the flask shaped structures you can see here having a globose venter at the base with a small stalk which is attached to the this archegonial base and along the neck which is a conspicuous structure here you can observe in the polytrichum with a long neck of around 6 to 10 neck canal cells and in the aventer you can see the development of the female gamete which is called as the egg cell and the ventral canal cell and this archegonia is also surrounded by a layer of the jacket layer for protection so this is regarding the archegonial structure and the archegonia and the archegonial head this is the structure we discussed and i also explained regarding the fertilization that is after uh, the time of fertilization the male gamete that is anthrozoites they will fuse they will swim in the water and reach the neck region of the archegonial head of the archegonia and they will enter into the venter and going to fuse with the egg and uh, results in the formation of the uh, what do you call it as the zygote the zygote will develop by repeated divisions it will divide and developing to the next generation of the plant which is called as a sporophytic generation so this is about yesterday we discussed regarding the a part of reproduction and the part of uh, the uh, external morphology and internal morphology of the um, what we call it as the polytrichum so now i am going to today i am going to again start with the structure of the polytrichum sporophyte so just i am giving you the slide show here right so today we are studying with the structure of the sporophyte which is a very 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 important question uh, in the essay type so this is a very important topic as uh, the polytrichum it is an advanced structure or the advanced genera of bryophyte it shows certain complexity in the development of the sporophyte okay so the mature sporophyte of polytrichum it is differentiated into three main regions which are called as the foot seta and the capsule this is a foot seta and this is a entire capsule region so the foot as uh, this uh, sporophyte is developed in the female archegonial head foot is found to be buried deep in the tissue of the female gametophyte so we can't see the foot as such it is completely buried inside ante mottam female gametophyte lopala ee mottam foot anedi total ga complete ga immerse ay untundi so we can't see the foot as such and uh, the main role of this foot is absorption of the food material from the may uh, from the female gametophytic tissue next comes to the seta region so the seta is very long here in polytrichum and it is uh, connecting it is just act like a connecting link between the capsule and the uh, gametophyte the female gametophyte and it plays the role of conducting water and the food material to the capsule region so that is regarding the foot and the seta now next to the important part what we are going to discuss today is the capsule of the polytrichum sporophyte so this capsule so e structure me ite edaitho chustunaro this is entirely is the capsule structure of the sporophyte 
Now, so this capsule is divided into, again divided into three regions, which is called as the apophysis, the basal apophysis region, central theca, and the operculum, which is acting like a lid. Now, so we'll go with the apophysis. So this is the lowermost part of the capsule. It is in continuous with the sita region, and it appears just like a swollen ring-like protuberance. And the cells of this uh, apophysis are very thin-walled. They are green in color and loosely arranged. So they play a role of photosynthesis for uh, giving the food material to the developing capsule. So this is the apophysis, the first region of the capsule. So apophysis is a ring lanti structure. Okay. So all these cells here are photosynthetic in reach origin, having the presence of the chloroplast, performing the photosynthesis. And uh, this epiphysis here, it is in continuation with the sita. And the sita ki pine on the region ni ikravini manmo epiphysis ani anta. Right. Now next comes to the, the important part of the capsule the central part of the capsule, which is called as the theca. Okay. So this region, Ikarnunchi, E region Anta Guda. This is the, so just I'll show you the point. So E part, Anata. E part, Mutham. So Nik red color is the draw chest. E part, Anta Guda, theca, the central part of the capsule. Idemo, e basal part emo, this is a epophysis. E the epophysis region, idemo theca region. So I just I'll write here. This is the theca of the capsule, the middle region of the capsule, theca. So this is a epophysis. And e pina part is the confortunamikra. This is the operculum. If, or it is acting just like a lid. Minimum operculum ani anta. Okay. So, if we three regions, e three regions forms the capsule structure of the polytrichum. So, the central region, which is called as the theca. So, what is the function of this? We'll see. So, it is a middle part of the capsule, central only. So, it is four lobed. Okay, so that I'll show you now. Its wall is several layered. The outermost layer is considered to be as the epidermis. And below to the epidermis, you can see the tissue, which is called as the air spaces, which is going to have the filaments, which are of thin walled and elongated uh, cells, which are containing the chloroplast. And we call them as the trabecular air spaces, which are present in this theca region. And uh, on the outer surface of the trabecular space, you can see the spore sac, okay, which is surrounded by a two layer of spore wall, spore sac wall. So I'll show you here the structure. So in theca, the outermost layer, and the first layer is the convertible that is considered as the epidermis, okay? Now, below the epidermis, you can see here, this is the trabecular spaces or the air cavities. Epidermis in the, this is called as the air cavities. This air cavities is going to be uh, consists of the linear cells, and it la puruga on cells with the conpartamiko, these are called as the trabeculae. So these trabeculae are surrounding and the trabeculae, economic inka ila long elongated mikoka bag land structure conpartunikra. This is called as the spore sac. So I am just drawing here. Right. Okay. Ithika region low on either side. That is, we can see the presence of two 
spore sac. Okay. So these trabeculae, they are attached to this spore sac and giving the mechanical strength or the support to this spore sac for not to get damage. Next, the spore sac and it consists of the outer wall as well as the inner wall. And the inner space of the spore sac consists of the sporogenous tissue where this sporogenous tissue, it will undergo reduction division and results in the formation of the spores. So they are going to forming the spores at the time of maturity. And in the central part of the, uh, this theca region is occupied by the conducting strand, which is called as the columella. Okay, so even the important points of the theca region. So, MMUNI theca lo, theca consists of the epidermal layer and internal two spore sacs. So, spore sacs ki atu itu, you can see the presence of trabecular air spaces. So, which are helping in giving support to the spore sac and in the center of the theca is occupied by the columella and is spore sac low, you can see the sporogenous tissue which are fertile, that is at the time of fertilized, uh, sorry, uh, when the spore sacs mature, then the sporogenous cells will undergo reduction division, that is meiosis, and results in the formation of uh, spores. Okay, right. Now that is regarding the central main region of the capsule. Now next we are going for the third region of the capsule which is called as the operculum or we are also calling it as the lid. L-I-D, lid. Operculum ani kudanochu or lid. Okay, right. So this is the outer, uh, uppermost part of the capsule and first under pine and matters. Capsule ki pina, you can see this region which is called as the operculum. So it is conical in structure and it is going to be covered by a protective layer which is called as the calyptra. So here, the calyptra, it, it is mainly in the form of a hairy structure. So this is either matter. This is the operculum. Okay, so this operculum, it is about the conical in structure uppermost part of the capsule and it is going to be surrounded by a layer which is called as calyptra and that calyptra in the, it is made up of hair. So hence the polytrichum is considered. So in starting in Japan, bryopsida, londe 20, genera, aniguda, they are commonly called as moss plants. So polytrichum due to the presence of this hairy calyptra, so it is called as the hair moss or the hairy moss. Right. So, in between the operculum and the theca, we can see a constriction. And the antikla, you can see here. This theca region, this operculum region. In only two regions, ki madhila, you can see a small constriction. And it la, nuttu ko nuttu ka untenu. So, in this constriction, you can see the a rim or a diaphragm. And this is a screw laga an mata. Okay, I'm under like a joint. Okay, jagg ki paina lid etla untundo. A lid jagg ki etla attach hai untundo. Adhe vidanga ikra e rim or diaphragm. This is a region which is helping in attaching the operculum with the theca of the capsule. Right. Next consists of and now the columella, Ithika la central region la columella on the Japan. This hello. Girls, can you see the screen? Hello. Yes, ma'am. 
स्क्रीन कॉइंटा सो जॉइंट मन उपक्यूलम अंड रीजियन अंड थीका रीजियन अटैच दिस्ज ए A joint-like structure which is present in the constriction of this capsule. Next most important point is, uh, if uh, this is a epivram. Okay, so e lidi ki lopal pakana you can see this is a epivram. Okay, which is uh, just like a fan-shaped structure. So in this epiphram, you can see the presence of a thick rim lined region, which is called as the peristomial teeth. Okay, so inside the ring, so in epiphram lo, a ring lined structure undundi. So this is the ring lined structure, which is present inside of this epiphram, which is called as the peristomial. Teeth region. So this peristomial teeth will help in opening of the rim and at the same time epiphram or the peristomial teeth. So my kikra, you can see the presence of thirty-two uh, peristomial teeth are there, which are just uh, arranged in two rows. Okay. And helping in proper fixing of this operculum to the capsule. And the operculum, I mean, the thicka, the cartilage, it la. Jaga ke fix, lid it la fix out to the. At la fix a word ani ki. This will help out on matter. And not only that, these peristomial teeth at the time of maturity. And after the capsule will mature. And after the spores and every form out ayo. These peristomial teeth. Will completely become dry up, dry up. If I know, put uh, a rim that gra, and the F pra mani di, it becomes very loose, loose. I know, put the rim region will just loose enough, and this operculum will just open and expose all the spores which are present in the theca to the outer environment. And the most unique gra, the rim mani di, okay, lid and the. Uh, It is acting like a joint, right? The peristomial teeth, the epiphram, and the operculum, the correct one, the thicka, the attach one, the this is the lid one. The lid one, the correct one, fix one, the help out one. Okay? So at the time of that, the capsule, in the immature, in the spore same form, gone. After that, the peristomial teeth, the water, the absorb, the see. क्लोज का हेल्प वाटर बब्सारब उपेक्यूलम थीका की करेक्ट लिडला कंप्लीट फिस्वा दी पेरेस्टोमियल टीथ विल हेल्प सो एपड़ते थीका रीजियन गेट मेच्योर अंत एपड़ते स्पोर् स्पोर्स अने मेच्योर अटे फाम अब ये पेरिस्टोमियल टीथ ड्राई आई पोते, ड्राई एंपर होता ही, अभी एपड़े तो वाटर ने अब्सोर्ब जाए वो, अपड़ा भी कंप्लीट का 